Transgender woman detained at Florida airport for scanning anomaly. Uh, Shada Petosky was returning from vacation when she was stopped by the t TSA, some sort of security, U.S. security. I'm being held by the TSA in Orlando because of an anomaly. An anom How do you say that word? My penis. They told me I couldn't take photos, but this is denigrating. I have missed my flight. They've left me in a room alone. There is an officer holding the door. Please ask her to return to the scanning machine as a man or it would be a problem. TSA agent Brahma told me to go back into the machine. Cop asked me what sex I was. I told him I wasn't going to answer that question. Scanner currently used in U.S. airports don't show details on a person's body. It only highlights possible dangers. Scanners have male or female options but do not have settings for transgender individuals. The settings can impact which shapes prompt alerts and have indeed created problems in the past. National Center for Trans Equality. We still hear from people that do not fly or they avoid flying whenever they can. The advocacy group is involved in a lawsuit against DSA demanding that it develop clear rules and regulations around scanners. An approximation of what you saw in the scanner. I described what the flagging screen looked like to an artist. This is an anomaly. Told me to get myself together. I'm sobbing, not belligerent. I followed you, Ross Feinstein. Feel free to discuss American air treatment, including calling the police. Who's this guy? Can American Airlines explain how if they immediately booked me flight to Minneapolis that I standing in Miami? I fly a lot, usually between Minneapolis and LA, and never had a problem. This is an anomaly. Or a Florida thing, not sure. Closed circuit TV. TSA has determined the evidence shows our official followed guidelines. Traveling while trans involves needing to disclose as trans to airport officials, which is none of their business. Had my first experience traveling while trans recently. It was nerve-wracking. TSA agent had no idea how to handle it. Aggressive pat-downs of pocket and groin region nearly every time I fly. TSA agent loudly asked, what are we? Not going to lie, I 0% want to be googled as the transsexual whose junk got flagged in Orlando. <sighs> Hi everyone, it's Jennifer McCreeth. Got us a little dark in here. I'm gonna move over to the light. I mean, this is 2015, and uh, I went through the exact same scenario. Uh, 2011, uh, missed a flight, and was asked all sorts of personal questions. Um, this is again, it was actually United States. It was at the U. It was on Canadian soil at Pearson Airport, but it was in the U.S. Customs area, which is deemed U.S. Uh, jurisdiction. That's a whole other issue. Um, I always look at the camera instead of, or the screen instead of the camera, so my eyes are always, yeah, you get it. I don't know. I mean, this, it just really pisses me off to, that this is still happening. And Denis LaBelle, um, the Minister of uh, Transport Canada, said that this was a good policy when. Uh, asked in the house about it and uh, nothing was done it wasn't changed um, I've tried to leave trans issues out of my political campaign and focus on all the other issues but this is a good opportunity for me to put on my hat chances are if I'm wearing my hair piece it's a formal political video and if I wear a hat this is me literally wearing a different hat um, so this is not technically a political video it's a, a trans activism video but you can mix the two together 
you got to send a trans person into politics as soon as possible. Canada, United States, any country that has airports with fucked up policies that are transphobic and out of date, absolutely disgraceful. And it really pisses me off to have to keep reading stories like this uh, day after day, week after week. I have not been back to the United States. I used to go to the States probably five, six, seven times a year. After my incident happened in 2011, I have not been back. And I will not return until the policies change. So United States, you're missing out on a lot of prospective tourism dollars from someone like me, who over the years has traveled down to... I've been to 47 of the 50 states. I've vacationed. I've taken in football games, rock concerts, um, run marathons, thousands of my dollars have gone into the US economy over the years but no more folks come on TSA get with get with it and in Canada you got we're gonna have to pull our socks up too because uh, this is unacceptable absolutely unacceptable